Welcome back. We're here to talk about Saturday's Premier League match between Liverpool and West Ham at Anfield. Pascal, we'll start with the visitors. Failed to defeat to Bournemouth last time out in a very dramatic game as well. Yeah, they've really struggled, haven't they, since that brilliant opening day win at Arsenal. They had two home games against Leicester and Bournemouth, you know, two sides. If you did a sort of prediction league at the start of the season, you'd probably expect both of those to finish below West Ham, but they've been comprehensively beaten in both 2-1 to Leicester and then fourth. I mean, it's, I know it's only one goal each time, but you know, conceding four to a newly promoted team at home is very disappointing. You know, some of the goals they conceded, I mean, Aaron Cresswell, he was brilliant in his debut year last season, but the first two goals, both really poor mistakes. I mean, the first one, he tries to let it run out of play. You just don't need to take a risk there. And then the second one, trying to pass it back to the keeper. I, I don't know what he's thinking, really, really poor. You know, then they get themselves back into the game to 2-2 and then you might have expected them to push on. But you know, the way Bournemouth play football, you know, away from home, West Ham just couldn't, didn't have control. Bournemouth are the ones having control. Talk about Cresswell having a bad game. Jenkinson really struggled against Max Gradle as well, got himself sent off. You know, just another lazy piece of defending, you know, trying to let the ball come down. Gradle gets there first and then just tugs him back. I don't know what he's doing there. Just yeah, real problems there for Slavin Bilic. You know, it was a really impressive start going to win at Arsenal, but you know, Arsenal were very off colour that day. And since then, I think, you know, West Ham has been a real drop in form, and that that performance against Bournemouth, conceding four like that, so so poor. So many errors defensively as well, wasn't there? I think you could point to every single goal and see something West Ham could have done def uh, better defensively. I think it's going to be quite interesting under Slavin Bilic with West Ham, how they perform against the big teams, because as you mentioned, they'll be so disappointed to lose to two expected relegation candidates after such a good performance against Arsenal. It was a very good performance. People started tipping them for Europe. I was among them after that performance because they, they deserved the win away at Arsenal. Such a tough place to go, particularly for a manager who hasn't managed in the Premier League before, but he got his tactics spot on, just stopped Arsenal from playing and the likes of Paye had a superb game in that one. For them to do that and then lose the next two games, it will be so disappointing for them. I just wonder whether they're going to be better suited away from home under Slavin Bilic. They were poor away from home last season. They only won three games all season. But it'll be interesting under Bilic if they're any better than that. Maybe they'll be better against the big teams as Bilic better at sorting his teams out to to break on the counter-attack if they've got better pl players on the counter-attack to play on the back foot and then hit the big teams on the break rather than perhaps breaking down a, a Leicester or a Bournemouth who, you have to say, they're not exactly defensive teams themselves, so perhaps that's not the case. But I think this match will tell us a lot regarding that, whether West Ham are a team for the big occasion and then against the, the lower teams, the teams you'd expect them to finish above would struggle a bit more. It'd be interesting to see, I think. Yeah, I think certainly if they can pull off another shock here, it'd be huge for Billy. It's just himself because you feel he's slightly under pressure already. Those sort of home defeats really do put the pressure on you as a manager. And, you know, if he can get a win here, it'd be absolutely huge for him. But he's got a lot of selection worries, isn't he? You know, up front, you know, Diafra Sacco, who I thought would have a really good start to the season. You know, he looked quite bright in pre-season and, and in Europe, but... You know, he's having these problems with the police, he's been arrested and all that, so that's not good for him. And then Carol Valencia is still out injured. I mean, they're looking at bringing in strikers, you know, linked with Adebayor and I think Zaza from Juventus. And, you know, obviously not long to go, you know, less than a week now until the transfer window closes. So, if certainly, I think you've, they've certainly got to get someone in because you can't rely on Carroll. You know, the, the injury Valencia had is quite serious. It's always quite difficult coming back from that. Carroll's, you know, a crock. He'll never be able to complete more than 10 games in a row, probably the way he, he's, he's sort of had the last, been the last sort of three years. And, there's certainly problems there. You know, Jenkinson suspended after that red card. Adrian also suspended here. So selection worries for them. And they certainly don't look as strong as when they went to Arsenal. And, you know, the, the performances of Zerate, Paye, you know, they've gone cold in these last two games. And you think that certainly Liverpool will see West Ham is probably there for the taking. Yeah, they come up against a Liverpool team who will be pretty confident after that. They only got a nil-nil draw against Arsenal. But the performance is the best performance of the season so far. The worst points hole of the season so far, but the best performance, I think, particularly in that first half. They were all over Arsenal at times. Hit the woodwork twice through Coutinho, but for a few magnificent world-class saves from Czech, they would have been perhaps out of sight at half-time. Could have been 3-4 up, perhaps. Benteke missed that glorious chance, which he really should have scored. But overall, the performance was very good. Arsenal did come back into it second half, but defensively, I think Liverpool were very sound. Minile made a couple of really good saves. Still uh, yet to concede in the league, which is a big plus for them. You'd have to say, still, no team scored fewer. No, yeah, sorry, no team scored fewer than them in the league this season, which would be a worry. But Benteke, he's impressed me so far against Arsenal. His hold-up play was really good. He bullied the two centre-backs for Arsenal at times. 
They may see Liverpool may see that Arsenal game as a bit of a missed opportunity with Mertesacker and Koscielny both out, but the performance was very encouraging and, and a draw away to Arsenal was not not a bad result by any stretch of the imagination. No, certainly not. You say about the um, you know the goal struggles this year, but they could have easily had three in that first half. Mm. You know, on another day, Czech doesn't get that fingertip to it. And it's such fine margins. They could have easily had three there, and it was a really really impressive performance. And you know those saves that Czech made. You know he got man of the match in that game, but for me it was Skirtle. I was so impressed with him that game. He you know, every time the ball went near him, you know, he, he dealt with different sorts sorts of players as well. You know, he was up against Giroud, who's always, you know, a bit of a handful in the air. And then once Walcott came on, he, you know, he, he always gave, gave himself that yard. He was looking for those runs over the top. He really impressed me. And another player who's impressed me, Joe Gomez. I mean, for me, I was sort of looking at his stats again uh, last night from the championship. He only made 16 starts in the championship for Charlton uh, last year. And I, I really thought, you know, Moreno, you know, out of the team at the start of the season, but I expected Moreno to come back, you know, fairly mm. sharpish. But the way Gomez has been playing, he completely deserves his place in the team. He's been called up to the uh, England under 21s now, uh, along with Jordan Ibe, actually, both of their first call ups. And yeah, I mean, Gomez for me, it's weird how well he's playing because you think a guy who was playing right back, you know, in and out of the team in the Championship last year is now playing left back for one of the best teams in the Premier League. And the way he's coped with it, and he looked really good, and he he loves to get forward as well. You know, a lot of the times Liverpool were on the break there, he'd be the one charging up down the left hand side. And he, he was often further ahead than Klein, who you'd say is more used to going forward in the Premier League. And yeah, he's really impressed me. Like I said, Skirtle playing really well, and you know, Klein's going to be a good signing for them down the right. So no goals conceded, and certainly. You know, the way they played in that first half, you, you can see more goals coming. Coutinho is playing really well. Like you say, Benteke is doing well. When Sturridge comes back, if he stays fit, he could be a great option as well. And yeah, certainly I think it's you know, it's been a decent start for Liverpool and you know, some of the performances, like the ones the first two against Stoke and Bournemouth weren't great, but the way they played at Arsenal certainly I think shows good signs for the future. Do you think they can carry on their unbeaten start here? I think certainly, yeah. West Ham, the way they've been playing, you have to probably pick Liverpool for this one, you know. At home, you know, they weren't great against Bournemouth. They certainly want to put in a better performance at Anfield, and I see them winning this fairly comfortably 3 1. Yeah, I'm going to go for a Liverpool home win as well, I think. As you mentioned, West Ham, disappointing. As I say, it'll be quite interesting to see how they set up if they do the same similar job to Liverpool as they did against Arsenal. But Liverpool, I think they'll be really uh, encouraged by that Arsenal result, and I'm going to go for a 2 0 Liverpool win. So both going for Liverpool victories by two goals here. Thanks for joining us.